人追求天涯，看时间并肩在一起，却不同的步伐，同样的心门一直不断来回的挣扎，是不是爱在变化，卷成风华？不是我要借你的长吧，其实也没什么想法，只是有时候我下错咒骂。让彼此心中的那火把，而与我他，热络的尴尬，要让笑话变成惩罚，指尖滴滴答答笑我撒谎。Baby， 我们之间的爱情编织成天涯，看时间并肩在一起。却不同的步伐，同样的心门一直不断，来回的穿插，是不是爱在变差，渐渐疯狂 ？Baby， 我们之间的爱情变成是天涯，但我有时候情绪会丧失和轰炸，是我不敢表达心里面的那一句话，其实我是真的爱着你呀。Enough to prove his innocence. One、mm. thirty a.m. That's thirteen minutes from the time of death, and from here to the crime scene, it's a two-hour walk, half hour by car. This is Sam's alibi right here. Miss Lee, you've had to think. Yes, I have. Well then, what I said was the truth. Those two nights, Sam Shen was there with me. Okay. Thanks a lot. Please wait here. You'll see your brother soon. Young, it's Sebastian Huff from the task force calling on Leslie's behalf. Oh, hello. Jordan, you there? Hmm, I'm here. Leslie? I'm here, Jordan. How did it go there? Congratulate us. We found footage that proves Sam Shen didn't kill those two. Hmm. You should congratulate Sebastian, because he found proof too. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ha. Uh, 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 Mr. Ha sounds weird. Just call me Sebastian. But I do have a question. What is it? Sam Shen is smart, so he should know that the tapes can prove his innocence, right? Why didn't he say anything before? Yeah, why didn't he mention it? Kitty,、mm -hmm. do you know?、Uh, I, I'm not so sure. We have to ask Sam. Well, I don't care. I sent the footage to the task force database. Extract it, Sebastian. Right, Kitty.、Mm -hmm. I have to speak to my two colleagues now. Oh, you mean I can't be a part of it, right? Uh, I'll hang up then. Leslie, Mr. Hu, thanks a lot for all your help. You're welcome.、Uh, I said Mr. Hu is super weird. Bye. <sighs> You're off. No, I'll be here, waiting for your verdict.
Hello. Are you Johnny Lee's tutor? Yes. I'm a cop. I spoke to the school principal. But what? What's wrong? Just you two? Yes, just us. Oh, they're here. Miss Jung, right? Yes. Good afternoon. Apologies. It's fine. Are you Johnny? <laughs> Hello. I'm Joan Lo, your sister's co-worker. Where is she? She's busy right now, so she had me bring you to my house. Where is your house? Oh, my house? My house is the magistrate's. Then who is that? Who's the magistrate? <laughs> <laughs> that man is this lady's father. My husband. <laughs> Who's your husband? His name is Kevin Lowe. Do I know him? No, you don't. But he knows you, Johnny. Anything else? Do you have any games? <laughs> well, you'll be the first one to visit the magistrate's house to play games. Come on! <laughs> Miss Jung, thank you. We should go. Goodbye. Yes? Chief, Mrs. Lowe picked up Sarah Lee's brother. What's that? It's Kitty's doing. Got it. Get back here. Right. Joan? We picked up the toy. The toy? <laughs> Who knew that somebody could be so cute? And when I say to him that he's cute, he just glares at me. So you mean that Johnny's with you? Of course. <sighs> Joan, thank you so much. I really owe you one. Oh, thank your mom for me. Mom, Kitty says thanks. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, right. Tell Kitty, when daughters grow up, they stop being cute. Later on, I can reminisce about how it feels to have a cute child. <laughs> did you hear that? Yes, I did. My mom has a new toy and doesn't need me anymore. How awful for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll let you go, okay? Relax. <sighs> mm. See you. Bye. Kitty? Sarah. Johnny's safe. Really? Thank you. You dope. Don't thank me. I told you before that I owe you. So, where is Johnny now? Johnny is at a big castle. It's safe. Protected. No one can get him. Even the police have to apply to get in. Did you see it, Chief? I did. So then, Chief, we can rule out Sam Shen, can we? It's not entirely that simple, though. In the first shot, he could have always changed his clothing, couldn't he? As for the second, the murder victim was found in the early morning. Estimated time of death has a margin of error of about an hour, right? And also, the time you have when Sam Shen was at the convenience store is well within that window. So I can't exonerate him just yet. Hmm. I get it. So then... We'll just have to trust the Chief's judgment. Thank you. 
What do you mean? The press has reported this. You think Zhang doesn't know about Shen? Of course he does. Even if we didn't disclose Sam Shen's full name, he could have found out. Could you speak with the prosecutor? And get him bail? What do you mean? Well, it's like you said. Bail is an exoneration. But if we let him go for now... What would Glenn Zhang do? You see? Glenn Zhang will find a way to get him. And avenge his two friends, right? That's why this is your call. Jordan, are you saying that we use Sam Shen as bait to lure out Glenn Jung? Wouldn't that put Sam Shen in danger? Yes, it would. But it would settle things. It's dangerous, but we can arrange for some bodyguards to wait for Jung to appear. Doing it this quickly could actually cost all of us a great deal. But he remains in the dark while we work in the light. The longer this drags, the higher the price we pay. Let's begin then. We must succeed. Okay, understood. Good job. Chief Jung asked me to tell you that new evidence has surfaced. Though it may not exonerate Sam Shen right now, the judge and prosecutor has accepted Jung's suggestion to allow him bail. I'll prepare the bail money. I'll have my lawyer send over the exact sum later. Um, how about Miss Lee? What's the chief's plan for her? He said that although you didn't order him, he knows what to do. So then? So then, the chief is your subordinate. What can he do? Thank you for your help. And make sure to thank the chief. Sure. You smiled before, when you were using the most brutal methods on me. You aren't smiling now. What's wrong? You're very lucky. Many people are helping you. But luck doesn't follow one around forever. The only one who can truly help you is yourself. You should leave her, Miss Bai's establishment. Not your problem. I told you before. You sell your body and I sell my soul. When we're out there, people can find us disgusting. I'm not my own boss, but are you? 
you have the chance to choose. If you don't want your brother to find out, get out of all this soon. You have the chance to keep the last of your dignity. Why are you saying this? When I was small, I was luckier than Johnny because I had my mother with me. And even so, my sister took care of me for many years. It's my regret that I had to humiliate a sister like you, an outstanding woman, because of my job. In doing so, I was also insulting my mother, insulting my sister and myself. For this, I apologize to you. Sam Shen is out on bail for now, so you may leave. I'm very sorry. Miss Lee. Are you looking for me? Is there another Miss Lee? Get in the car. Johnny's at my house. My brother? Check the envelope. See if your belongings are all in there. You don't seem to want to leave. Come on, the chief's waiting. A lot of people are eager to get you out, but that's not why I let you go. We found two new surveillance tapes, but that also isn't the reason. I want you to join us. Only temporarily. Just until we arrest Glenn Jong. Can't do that. What can you do then? Play sports? Running? Circuit boards? Revenge? We suspect a third party is involved. Is that you? Do you want revenge? For the car crash or your mother's condition? How are you going to get it? Eye for an eye? Blood for blood? We've heard and witnessed what you're capable of. We really hope you can put your skills to good use and not misuse them. You think too much. You must be clever to become the chief here. I hope you can put your smarts to good use. Sam Shen, please behave yourself. I'm sincerely asking for help. If I say no? The Chief is being clear. It's a request, not a threat. Really? Well, it doesn't sound like it. I have a question for you. If you are truly innocent, why didn't you prove it? You must have thought of the surveillance tapes showing where you were. Why didn't you tell us? Was it because you actually wanted Glen Zhang to come looking for you? 
Since your arrest, you put up hardly any resistance. What's going on? You're overthinking. I don't know if I am. But our target here is also Glen Zhang. So shouldn't we help each other and not compete? Can I go now? My father's waiting. Once you leave here, Glen Zhang will target you. Really? Not only Glen Zhang. Once you let me out, you'll target me as well. Chief, he knows. He's far too clever. And he knows what we're thinking. Well then, what now? I think he's testing his luck. We have to worry about him. And Kitty, too. She's all I have. Don't worry. Sam Shen will be all right. Kitty as well. Leslie, from now on, watch Shen all the time. Once Glenn Jong appears, take him down. Right. There you are. There's the slouch. who got you out were not just Chairman Jiang and Mr. Lo. Also Sarah. Sarah was... was so great. She really was. To provide you with such an alibi. And she... She disclosed that she's an escort. She said... 
She's fallen for you. And doesn't care if you haven't. And she said all these things in front of so many people. She must have felt awful. But she was so brave. She was ready to sacrifice everything. See her tomorrow. Go tell her that you're her brother. Don't leave her in pain, okay? Get rid of the confusion that she has. Also, you not only have to tell her that, I need you to do something else. You have another job. To give her a new home. How was dinner? It was very good. But Johnny had trouble with the fork. Oh, it's all right. You'll have to come again. Sarah, I have something I need to ask you. Sam, ask me for a check for seven million. Was the check for you? So all that money came from you? That's right. It was mine. But you didn't accept it, was that? Well, how could I? It was my dad's debt, so Sam shouldn't have to repay it. Well... What if I give it all to you for free? What for? You have no reason. You're my granddaughter's co-worker. And you're Sam's friend. Also today, you did Sam a huge favor. No, I didn't. <laughs> and I feel really stupid. I thought I could team up with the valet and the police would buy it, but of course they didn't. <laughs> Actually, you weren't stupid at all. You just really like Sam. Chairman Jang, can we not discuss this right now? Johnny's waiting. I can give you the check tomorrow. Okay. Like how you helped Sam. Please let me help you. And your brother. That means a lot. But I don't think you should. Well, can you tell me why? I don't like to be indebted. I've always felt like I'm trapped deep inside a dark drain or a cemetery. Sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy. Mr. Jing, thank you. Truly, thanks so much. Thank you for being so kind to Johnny and me I don't need a check from you
Only I can get out. Of the cemetery I'm in. I can only rely on myself for that. Excuse me. You're so heavy. Oh, having fun? Didn't you switch the lights off? I thought I did. You're home. Miss Bai. How did you get in here? What happened? Did you sell us out? Hey, Johnny. Be good. Do your homework next door. Hmm? and ask questions. I found out it was because of you. Don't you know that I have enough problems? Or do you want more from me? And so you laid a trap. Or do you want me to go bust? Miss Bai. I'm sorry. That means nothing! What is Sam to you? A friend. A boyfriend? Just a friend. <laughs> oh, please. That boy's a killer. And you're lying. You know that perjury's a felony? You're lucky to be standing here. If you were just friends with him, why do that? Tell me now, you did so much for him. Does he care for you? Yes, he does. He cares a lot. It doesn't mean he loves you, though. It's the same to me. You stupid girl. Doing so much for someone who doesn't love you. Is it worth it? Miss Bai, the deal you told me about before, is it still on? If I stay with Kurosawa, would he still want me? So you're willing now? But I'm taking my brother. That'd be difficult. Then forget it. I really don't know what you're thinking here. Just stop causing trouble for me. Where's Glenn? So then, does that mean those two are a couple? He cares a lot. 
So it sounds like they are. But I can't be positive. And you? Are you my boyfriend now? I care for you. Oh. You're heartless. I care for you. And love you. If I could before, I would have married you. That's much better. So then, everything's okay? Mm. One cop came by. It's been taken care of and we're fine. The relationships we made have been useful and they've helped us out. Very good. Your place has come a long way. You've done well. Why call it mine? You gave me the money. It's yours too. When I went to Indonesia, your connections allowed me to make some important friends. I was alone in that land. But things worked out for me. When I returned here, if it weren't for your house, how would I have fought the police and Jang for so long? You talk about you and I. Don't make such a distinction. It's hard to be nice. Sometimes I can't even thank people in time. I miss the opportunity to thank Adam and Elliot. Hey, Glenn. Do you still want to kill Sam? Aren't you worried about the police setting you up? Going after him is a dumb idea. Let him come to me. That's the smart move. What do you mean? He cares about Joy. You will use Joy? Yeah, she'll be all right. But Glenn, she's a really kind girl. Please don't hurt her. Don't you trust me? Please, Glenn. He killed my two brothers! Two of them, all right? My brothers suffered a lot for me. They went to prison for helping me escape. If not for those two, I would be done. What did I give them? What did I give them? I'll tell you, I gave nothing! But when they saw me, they both still called me brother! They love me! They love me! Do you trust Sam? Hmm, I do. Why? You do too? Mm. And your reason? Because I trust who you trust. Nonsense. But it's true. You look really cute. You should smile more. Makes me happy.
Leslie, do you know where Jordan is? Don't reply. Are you busy now? She sent it to the group. She wants you to see it. It's fine if you are. Reply later. I just wanted to tell you that I saw a really cute kid today. I just wanted to share that with you. Seeing a kid like that makes me want to have a lot of kids. <laughs> Messages like this are actually for you, right? You mad? What? I'm fine. I have things to do. I should go home. Hey! Will you reply? Who cares? I know what you're going to say to me. So please, don't say thank you to me. Don't say it. Okay. <laughs> the Japanese guy I told you about has told me that if I go for half a year, then Johnny can come too. Half a year in Japan. When I'm back, then I can start my life over. I can't give you what you want from me. Because you're my sister. Yeah, I know. No, you don't. I'm being serious. When I was six and at the orphanage, your dad saw me said he was my uncle and would adopt me. He thought my mother left some money for me. But it wasn't enough. So then he changed his mind. And he left me there. What you said sounds... just like what my father would do. Because of him, I found you and your brother. my mother. How is this possible? The first time I saw your brother, I had the same reaction. But then, I thought if we weren't related, how could he look just like me? Why didn't you tell me? 
Why didn't you say this to me sooner? I was scared. Why? Because I'm looking for Glenn Jung. If he finds out about you, he might come after you. So... You were just protecting me. I thought I was. But realized I was wrong. I was just... I was just hurting you. Please, Can you please tell me? Tell me you're playing a prank on me? No, I'm not. So, this is why you care about me. Thank you.